out of my um, citizenship interview. And I passed! Yay! Um, yeah, I, I'm like over the moon right now. I'm so happy. It was like so stressful. I just, I thought it was going to be so much harder. Like they're going to grill me. And they kind of did, but in a way that they had to because that's just part of the job. That's part of the questions that you get in the actual application. I'm so, so happy. Um, I'll talk more about like the process. I was like, when when we like came to a conclusion, like, all right, well, congratulations. I'm approving your application. Um, you'll be getting your naturalization uh, letter for uh, your ceremony uh, to, to swear you in as an American citizen. And I was like, thank you so much. I just want to cry. I was like, I said, I feel like I'm going to cry. Because it was just like so overwhelming to come to that like for so many months of like gathering information or just years actually just all the information that we've had to collect over yeah like four like literally four years of making sure all of our documents are fine making sure you know your dates like when you go into the country when you leave the country um when you change addresses like so many fine details that are captured in your entire life over such a long period of time a lot of stuff and it boils down to today it boils basically. down to one day like hello crazy so yeah i mean it was very comfortable i didn't feel i was stressed in the beginning like i thought i was gonna throw up on the drive to the location i obviously didn't tell steve that because i didn't want him to like freak out but i was like i need a banana i need to eat something because i hadn't eaten and i didn't and i was like i need water i need a banana i, need, I can't pass out right now like mm. And then I was like, maybe I shouldn't have had the banana. And I was like, oh, damn it. I was just so stressed and so nervous. I was so scared that I was like, I have to pass this test. Like, it's like live or die kind of situation. Like, you know, life or death situation. But, you know, the lady was very nice. And, you know, as long as you're, you're happy and... Oh, my brows look bad. You know, as long as you're you know, um, uh, eager to answer, making sure that if there are any mistakes that you correct them, like, hey, you know, um, something I did learn, like today, I realized I was part of an association. Like they say, are you part of any um, association or clubs or anything like that? And I forgot that I am a real estate agent. And in order to be a real estate agent, I have to be part of the National Association of Realtors. So I was like, oh, shit, but we only learned this last night. We're like, oh, I am part of an association. So if you keep things like that off, I keep, put everything in. Any job you ever did that you were paid, like I was paid doing brand ambassador work, I put every single place that I was a brand ambassador in there. They said you were very thorough. I was like, I know, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to keep anything out of the application. They're like, no, we appreciate being thorough and being prepared. Um, I answered all my civics questions. Um, they were pretty easy. Uh, you know, it was six of them. I got them all correct. And then the sentence was, um, the qu- sentence I had to say uh, verbally was, um, what state it has the most population and then the question the, the the answer was what I had to write which was California has the most population or the highest population or something like that and then I wrote it on like an electrical note and an electrical n- notepad everything was basically electronic um, nothing was by pen or paper um, which I was a little surprised uh, the questions that I can remember was um, who is the chief justice, um, who is the, uh, in charge of the executive branch, name a part or branch of the government. Um, chief was justice. When, no, when the do chief vote? justice. Oh, uh, when do you? No, no. When do you vote? Um, uh, what, what month? What month do you vote for president? Um, what was the other ones? I can't remember. They really are easy. We have a recording. We can go. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's bouncing. But like literally, if you just, um, if you, no, that's too bright. No, that's too dark. Okay. If you study your questions, know the one hundred at least, like ninety-five or ninety percent, you're gonna get most of the questions correct. 
So I didn't struggle in the questions. I didn't have to re say any questions above the six. I got them correct. And they and she said thank you for coming prepared after she did the questions because I guess some people maybe struggle on that. So she has to ask more, which I'm happy because like yeah, I was pretty prepared. I knew all of the answers like back and front. I think one of them was um, name a Indian tribe. I said Cherokee. Honestly, I don't remember the questions. I'd, I just did the interview and it was such a short portion of the interview that it was so insignificant almost. Like, people are stressing stressing about the civics questions, but it's like, sure, there are 100 questions, but those aren't the only questions they ask. They're actually asking about your elig eligibility. The whole application. The whole application. Like, every single question that you answered on the application she's gonna ask like have you ever been in a communist party have you ever um, uh, transported armed like um, armed units or like what do you call it like guns um, what do you call it? ammunition or whatever um, have you ever committed a crime uh, have you ever been part of sex trafficking or um, fleeing from a country have you ever been deported or have you ever um, it's all of those questions that literally on the application she's going to ask or he or she is going to ask um, and you know you get those um, videos of like how the interview is going to go that is not how it's going to go like it's very relaxed and also just remember she is still he or she is still interviewing you so be um, listen to the question <clears throat> be professional don't go off tangents. I did a little bit, but just to like kind of lighten up the conversation a little, which she was perfectly fine doing that. Um, um, so they ask if you're willing to fight for the country. Um, you know, it's just really making sure that you're not a bad person, basically. Right? And I that mean, you didn't lie on your And that you didn't lie on the application. Yeah, basically. Um, like for me, I got a speeding ticket, so that means I was cited. Even though I didn't go to the court, I still mentioned that I did get a speeding ticket in my living of America, whatever, while living here. <clears throat> she said, no, no, I think that what they're actually asking is, have you been detained or put in jail or uh, pro uh, do you have a pro probation or pro are you on probation, Are you on from, probation a crime? from a crime or anything like that? So, you know, something like that. But put everything in down to like the days, you know, you went on vacation, um, the days you got married, the days you worked at certain jobs, like the dates, obviously, that's what I mean. Um, but really, it was very calm, very very nice lady and they really are trying to help you get naturalized they aren't like a police officer you know that makes you feel uncomfortable they don't try and make you feel uncomfortable they do definitely they are professional and they do like i'll need to complete my sentence in order for you to answer that question so it's just little things here and there they are definitely making sure that you have the correct um, answers to the questions for me I had a temporary passport in South Africa and then I lost it I forgot about it and I gave her my now passport which is the passport I've been using to travel and she said um, can I also see your old passport and I said um, I don't have one and she said no well you must have had one I said oh I'm so sorry I totally forgot about this uh, temporary passport that I applied for in South Africa it's a lost I don't know where it is and that's why I had this I had to apply for this new one um, I lost a very long time ago and I don't have it so she was like oh, that's perfectly fine as long as you're communicating that to me so that I can put that in your application that you, you lost your first passport or whatever so and I totally and I totally forgot about that I just it didn't even cross my mind because it was such a long time ago and uh, don't feel frazzled or stressed about that when things come up that you are like oh I'm so sorry I just don't remember the exact dates but I know it was around this month or and, and she was totally fine with that I was like I know it was roughly around you know June July so like end of June beginning of July they were like yes that's correct yep that's good that's fine that's it I want to say it's so stress-free I mean I feel like I just did the full video
<laughs> so yeah, that's my experience. I'm gonna be getting, and then uh, I did ask one question uh, was if I could get my um, birth certificate, my unabridged birth certificate, because I gave the original. She said that I have to apply online through a certain form, which was the G, uh, what was it? I have to apply uh, through the G884 to requ request return of original documents. So that I have to do that in order to get my birth certificate, which kind of sucks. You couldn't just give it to me, but I guess that's just procedure. Um, and then uh, the next thing was she said that my naturalization um, form for like the ceremony will be coming around a month and a half. So. That's when I'll be expecting my papers uh, to do my ceremony. And also, um, I was changing my name, so there's another form that you receive, which if you're changing your name legally, you have to do that first before the ceremony. And they'll give you a form for when you can do that. Um, they'll send it out in through mail. Um, and then you have to do that, change your name legally, and then you do the naturalization ceremony. And yeah, that's basically the story. There's... Um, <coughs> You know a lot of prep work for it I brought my taxes she didn't ask for them but she did ask if I have any backlog taxes or due taxes or if I ever haven't filed on time the lighting keeps changing oh, it'll change a lot. yeah um, so so yeah I mean that was basically the gist of everything so yep that's basically it I mean you know if you have any questions don't forget to you know comment down below or you can I guess and I'll ask you're gonna ask the question but you know if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask I think the biggest thing is knowing how to prepare yourself for this thing because rather be over prepared than under prepared and if you're over prepared and you feel like you have too many things like my pack was huge let me show you my pack some people um, went in with literally nothing. I went in with this like huge pack. I was rather over prepared. Some people just don't feel like it's necessary. Like I brought my marriage certificate, even though they, she didn't request it. They say bring your marriage certificate, bring um, your husband's or wife's um, naturalized um, uh, birth certificate. Um, and I brought that and she didn't even ask for it. I mentioned it and she's like, oh, actually, you know, I'd like to see the original. And she did. And she's like, yep, yeah, I, I saw that in the file. We're good. And I was like, okay, great. You know, I mean, she didn't ask for hardly anything at all other than my passport, my, um, my green card, uh, my driver's license. Um, I think that's it. Like, uh, hardly anything. I really didn't give her anything in this whole pack, which... I carried it around for nothing but at least I had it rather be safe than sorry um, but yeah anyways I hope that helps you for whoever's out there um, feeling stressed about their um, citizenship test interview don't worry about it as long as you're prepared do your civics questions test yourself you know once a day um, you should be fine and uh, make sure you know what your answers are on your application really that's about it Alright, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye. -bye.